Hello. So the rice water method. Turns out we're all doing it wrong. So I've done some pretty extensive research to show you the real way to do this rinse. I'll be answering the commonly asked questions and showing you how to make the most authentically correct recipe and exactly how to use it. I'll also share some things to be wary of so you don't end up damaging your hair. And I've gone the extra mile to go a little into the science behind it so you can trust me, this video has got you covered. So why is this method even a thing? The first recorded use of this method was in the Heian period, which was this long ago. Japanese women were known to credit their long, healthy, floor-length hair to rinsing their hair with the water left over from washing rice. Nowadays, there are still cultures who use this method, most notably the Red Yao women of China. These women know their ish. So I have scoured through every bit of footage and information I could find on their method to give you the gold all in one video. But what exactly does it do? The Yao women say it keeps their hair strong, shiny, long and black. And even women as old as 80 years old in their village don't have any white hairs. I've also found some articles saying it reduces dandruff and scalp problems. And to back this up, I found a 2002 study by the NCBI who found that the starch in rice water helped heal damaged skin for people with dermatitis. The hair benefits are due to the many nutrients in in rice, including amino acids, minerals, antioxidants, selenium, magnesium, folic acids, vitamins B1 through to B6, C and E, niacins, vitamin K and inositol to name a few. Now, first, rinse the rice. This just gets rid of any dirt and dust. It's unclear whether the Yao women do this, but their rice is probably a lot cleaner in the first place. Next, wash the rice. This is different from the initial rinse. The women are really thorough, washing the rice between their hands like this to get all the properties needed out of the rice. Now, this is the part a lot of people seem to get wrong. There seems to be a viral method floating around the internet, leaving the rice and the water in a jar overnight. Maybe this does something, I don't know, but for the sake of being accurate, let's go with the yao. So after washing the rice, the women actually discard the rice and boil the remaining water with a few other ingredients. The women make huge batches of this stuff, so it's unclear how much for one use, but I went with one cup of rice and four cups of water, which turned out to be exactly one jar full. I don't think it matters too much, but if you're worried about the protein, which I'll get to at the end of the video, try diluting it with more water. And of course, fresh spring water will be the best choice, but filtered or distilled water will be better than tap water. By the way, if you are liking this video so far, please give me a little thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please do subscribe. According to this woman, some families even add their own secret ingredients, but they most commonly use pomelo peel, which is a type of citrus fruit. Now, because pomelo isn't commonly available, most people on the internet seem to use orange peel, but I did a little bit of research and I found out that grapefruit is actually the most closely related fruit to pomelo. So you best believe I went out and bought a grapefruit. I used all the peel from one whole grapefruit and how beautiful is this grapefruit? It just looked and smelled absolutely divine. And of course, you don't want to waste this beautiful grapefruit, so I put this aside to eat later on. Special secret. In another video, it's mentioned that they add herbs and certain oils, and I managed to find out that they use the mashed up remnants of tea plant seeds, which they use to make cooking oil. Again, this ingredient is not so readily available where I live, but I imagine that essential or herbal oils will work in a similar way way, so I'm going to use lavender oil. Next, they boil it. It's unclear how long they boil it for, but there's no mention that this takes very long, so I'm assuming just around 10 to 15 minutes. And after it's boiled, this mixture is then stored and fermented before using it. Some recipes online instruct to soak the rice in the water for a few hours, but I'm pretty sure this is useless. You need to ferment it for maximum effects, and it lowers the pH, which can be really helpful to closing the hair cuticle. So you can check out my hair science video if you want to know more on that. But how long do you ferment it for? Right, this is where I heard a bunch of different information. The method that we've come to know through YouTube says to leave it for 24 hours, and many say that if it's left any longer 
longer than two to three days, it will go bad. The Yao women, however, say that they ferment it for two weeks to one month. And in another video, a mother and daughter explain that they leave it for at least one week. I've heard from another source that they leave it up to three months. So for time's sake, I left mine for one whole week. Right, now we've got our mixture, how do we use it? So the women use just this mixture alone to wash their hair. Now this probably won't work the same for those of us who are used to using products, so generally I've seen people use it after shampooing and conditioning, but out of curiosity I thought I'd try it the traditional way. Also, the Yao women apply it with their head over a bucket, so I did this too. <laughs> So also, if you know about the inversion method, this is really good for circulation. You just want to saturate all of your hair and your scalp, and you can massage it into the scalp for that extra bit of love. Now, I found that the mixture didn't smell bad at all, which loads of people on the internet were saying. I did use quite a bit of grapefruit peel, so it just smelled really citrusy. As for the consistency, it felt kind of slippery in my hair, almost like a watery conditioner, which I definitely wasn't expecting. So here I'm just squeezing out the excess and now we need to leave this in. But Isabella, how long for? Well, some people on the interwebs have said to leave this in as little as two minutes, 10 minutes, as long as one to two hours. Apparently this depends on your hair's sensitivity to protein, but the Yao women say they leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I decided on 20. So they rinse theirs out in fresh.